Hello, my name is Leah and I'm going to be entering in the Moog 2017 circuit bending challenge. I am 13 and in eighth grade and currently live in Idaho. I'm really into electronic music and I play the piano and keyboards. I also have a modular synthesizer. However, my primary instrument that I'm playing is the violin. And that is why I'm gonna be using it for my main controller for the circuit bending challenge. The things that I'm going to be bending are a stylophone, a voice changer toy, and connecting those two things to the violin. So the budget is $70 for the circuit bending challenge. I got this violin at a secondhand store for $40, and I got this voice changer toy at the Goodwill bins for about a dollar. And I have this stylophone that I got for about five dollars at the Goodwill. And I'm probably gonna be using the rest of the money for other parts and wires that I need. So I've taken the guts out of this stylophone here and I'm going to kind of fit this underneath this fingerboard here. So only the keyboard is going to be showing. To do this, I have to remove a few things including this pot thing and a circuit board. I took out the potentiometer and as you can see and I'm going to slide this in to see how this works all right all right and after looking at this I realized that I really don't need to remove the circuit board so now I'm going to take the guts out of this voice changer right here I've removed the tuning pot from this circuit board and I'm going to wire it to it um, and place it on the outside of the violin because otherwise it wouldn't fit, this circuit board wouldn't fit underneath the fingerboard. So I have put wires on this, as you can tell, and I'm now going to apply some double-sided tape onto here, like so. So, so I've taken the circuit board for the stylophone and put it underneath the violin's fingerboard along with some double-sided tape to hold it in place. Seems like it works great. So I'm cutting off this piece of plastic to, to make a battery holder. So I've taken the speaker for the voice changer and attached it to the stylophone and have used double-sided tape to put it right here. And the little piece that I cut out for the voice changer, um, I have stuck a battery in it and placed it underneath the strings right here. I have also hooked up to the speaker a 3.5 millimeter audio jack so you can hook it up to an amplifier as well. So I've taken the microphone from the voice changer and connected it to a 3.5 millimeter cable. I am going to plug the microphone into this 3.5 millimeter jack which I have connected onto the voice changer circuit. I have also um, put this speaker from the stylophone onto here as well as two cables. These two cables connect to the battery to power the voice changer. So I have placed the speaker right here with some double-sided tape and put the voice changer circuit right here and I placed it right here to have access to the effects switch. I took the two battery cables that are attached to the voice changer and attached a switch to it which allows it to turn on and off. So 
the voice reader circuit, the xylophone, and the piezo mic are all connected. Now we're going to test the instrument. So we're coming close to finishing this project, and I have made a few modifications. One of the modifications that I made was putting a longer and thinner wire connected to the banjo pick so I can play the instrument easier. So each of the notes on the xylophone is attached by alligator clips, which um, hook up to the strings on the violin. So I can, whenever I touch the banjo pick here, to the string, it makes the note that is on the stylophone keyboard. I'll show you it. Okay. So this microphone to the voice changer, I wrapped some wire around it to keep it stable and tucked it under here to position it close to my mouth so I can use my voice in the microphone. So I'm gonna show you how this microphone works with my voice with three different settings. So this is the finished instrument and I just started playing it and I'm still learning but this is what it sounds like so far. Thank you.